Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're going to review a Tesla Model S Plaid. So, are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and that is Adam. And we're in my garage, and today we have a viewer's Tesla Model S Plaid. So, a huge thanks to Kevin who emailed me and was like, Hey, would you like to try driving my Tesla Model S Plaid? And I'm like, Yes, I would. And he said, Great. I'm going to drive it from South Carolina. <laughs> all the way to texas that you can drive it i said you're insane he said actually i'm buying a car in texas okay anyway it made sense here it is we have a tesla model s plaid which if you, if you didn't know this is the fastest production car in history and also the most boring production it's also boring looking boring car. yes but I, I, if you want a sleeper so we're gonna talk all about it in just a second but real quick if you'd like to support us please like share and subscribe hit the notification bell and better yet go check out normalguys.com there you can buy parts and services for your car Use the code NGS10, it'll hook you up for 10% off. And of course, go visit our new website for our dealership, ngcpcars.com. We're starting to get some cars on there. There's only a few, but give us some time. We got some cool cars, so go check that out. But here we go, Tesla Model S Plaid. Whoa, hold on there real quick. This Tesla Model S Plaid, this exact one, is actually for sale through our website, NG Supercars. So yes, this is for sale, it is a consignment car. So if you want more details about it, reach out to us or go visit the website and you can check out information about it. But I know one of you guys wants this thing because it's nuts. So I have to stand way the hell back here just to fit the car in frame in my camera because it is a big car. Normally I park my cars at the front bumper lined up on the red square. I had to pull it in further because if you go back here, we don't have any room back here. And like to give you an example, the Superleggera, I pull up on that red line and the back of the car does not even cross the red line back here. So it is clearly at least two feet longer than the Super G. Yeah, there's a bunch of weird things about this car and we'll get into it. And most of them's on the interior. They did some things that actually are good on the exterior. Like for example, they actually have real sized wheels. Oh my God, look at that. A 265 35ZR21. And best of all, it's a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, which is a really good tire. And that's on the front, the rears, a 295-30ZR21. That is finally some real tires on a Tesla. That was actually one of my complaints about the Model S is I always felt like they had these tiny little narrow tires because they were so concerned about friction and rolling resistance and getting fuel economy and whatever. And this thing's kind of like <coughs> that. We want performance. Other than that, you really can't tell that this is the plaid other than a few little cues like the fenders are pulled out just a tiny bit which you'll only notice that if you know what you're looking for because right. i had no idea that that was yeah you thing. can see if you look at the line the body line right there it kind of curves out just the touch i mean maybe a half an inch i don't even know how far it was but just a little bit same thing in the rear just a tiny bit sticking out and then way back here which sadly the well the garage door is in the way i can't even get over there it says plaid and tiny little script back there. Carbon fiber, yeah, that's right. We got a little tiny carbon fiber wing. That's carbon fiber. But other than that, I mean, it's just kind of, looks like a Model S. Still got the same stuff where you like push that and here's your charging port. So, you know, all of that stuff's basically the same, but still got the same weird door handles that pop out and you got the mirrors that fold in and all that stuff. Oh yes, yeah, so there you go, that's it. Look at, it. it's tiny, not very big script at all. So it's pretty, Pretty obscure. Show you the trunk space while we're sitting here, which is huge. I mean, I have to say, this is a massive storage compartment. This lends to the practicality of this car, and you still have more storage down here, and even yet more storage over there. So, I mean, it looks like they've been hauling wood in this thing. I'm not sure what's going on, but oh, and look at you got a little pocket right here. So, I mean, they noted in the thing that you can fit a full size bicycle without removing the wheel. So this is huge if you fold down the seat. So those seats fold down as well. Ooh, automatic. Looking at the body of this car, I've seen quite a few of these Model S's. We even owned one in our Toro business and the build quality was atrocious. This one seems to be slightly better. Uh, the, the body gaps are still kind of large, but they're reasonably consistent. I know people were still saying that the paint is kind of crap. I mean, looking it over, it looks better. It doesn't look perfect, but um, you know, it's, it's better. This is better paint, so it's better condition. I don't know if we're gonna have the same creaks and cricks on the interior that we had. 
So we'll find out when we start driving it. That <laughs> panel cap is massive. Look at that. It's half a finger of body gap. That's pretty terrible. Like, you know, they could probably is do a better Is it the same job. on the other side? No. Okay. It's much smaller. Tesla's got to really up the game. You know, I mean, this car is 130 plus thousand dollars and you guys can't do better than that. I don't know. But then again, like I said, I'm not going to crap on it too hard because, well, I've seen some terrible stuff come from Ferraris that were brand new. So there you go. We had to move the car just to be able to fit this thing in frame. Look at that. Yep. All right. Before we hop in the front, we're going to hop in the back because it's actually quite large in the back. I mean, the, that is a lot of space. Don't mind my mail. We're gonna put a large size bear into the back seat. Not a hobbit. Not a hobbit. So this is a real sized human being. And dude, your knees are barely touching the seat. I have my a screen back here. Yeah, yeah, you can control your own stuff, control music, play video games back there. I have heated seats. Yeah, is that awesome? I could watch Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. I actually saw there is an optional game controller so you can have your kids sit there and play video games in the back. I can turn the temperature to 69 degrees. <laughs> of course you can. Nice. 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 What? Oh, look at more carbon fiber. A little bit of Ooh. carbon fiber trim. This roof is trippy. Whoa. This is seriously Wow, trippy. that's a large piece of glass. I bet that glass cost a shit ton of money. Yeah. This looks like it's like made out of jeans you know college professors they're oh tweed yeah that looks like looks, tweed that's yeah. it yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. look at ooh, more carbon fiber and they up their game the back seat is really impressive let's let's uh see what it's like up front the seats i've read all the interior is totally been redone it's only the plaid that has this it, well yeah here's the uh the one sticking point the yoke as it were i i mean i don't know that's just We'll see how it is driving, but that just seems silly to me. The seat feels pretty plush. Look at, ooh, the center is all carbon fiber. Oh, look, here's the, uh, the spare key. Ooh, the spare credit card key thing. Because, you know, everything we do is through the screen now. Oh, look, it's even an interior camera. Hi, man. He's watching us right know, now. He's probably, probably watching us. Owner's like checking us out. He's like, don't be screwed on my car. Actually, he told me to make sure I give it hell. It's still showing the tire pressure thing. We woke up and the tire pressure was low, but uh, yeah, we got, look at storage space. Oh, yep, don't be stealing his deodorant. He specifically mentioned that. All what right. an odd thing to specify. And then we got the cup holders, and I think these, yep, those go back. Oh, look at that. Damn, that is a giant cubby. Uh, see, build quality. Look at the, look at the cup holder. It's struggling. It's, uh, keep fighting. Keep going. Go, go, go. Yeah, you made it. Okay, that one did good. And here's another problem. Everything is here. Basically no controls outside of that because they're going for this like new age minimalist design. I kind of don't like that because simple things take multiple actions. Like you have to push the car button. You have to know where it is. Certain features they do have are easy to get to. Oh, we can turn on my, it's on auto heat. I don't know. I don't like that that they have certain controls are all hidden through menus and you have to know where you're going and whatever. But that is a giant screen that is huge and then of course we have a screen here and this is one of the only positives of the yoke is that there's nothing covering the screen blinkers are over here your headlights are here you got controls for like the volume of the radio and stuff like that here the horn button is there i'm not kidding that's your horn button there's no other horn button you get one little button so if i'm driving and i want to be mad at you i have to like move my thumb over and that's kind of stupid. Like at least on the fries that have the steering wheel, it's literally right there where your thumb sits. There's no real uh, buttons to turn it like into drive and stuff. You use this little thing right here. You put, put your foot on the brake and you slide it. I guess the biggest thing is we need to go drive this thing, huh? Indeed, All indubitably. Right. Let's go uh, Let's go see what this new uh, 1,000 plus horsepower, 1,000 plus foot pounds of torque car can do in the zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Okay, YouTube, we're in the plaid, so foot on the brake. Whoa, it just starts saying reverse stuff. It automatically went into reverse, and then the mirrors are staying folded in. That's kind of interesting. I guess I could give it a little gas. Whoa. I always find it weird that these things are so quiet. Yeah, I'm already hating the yoke trying to back out of my driveway. 
like doing this turn here is kind of stupid. Why are my mirrors still folded? Hold on, unfold mirrors. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right, we got mirrors out. It's regenerative braking is uh, pretty aggressive. Like I didn't touch the brake there at all. Okay, yeah, this this yoke steering wheel is stupid at slow speeds. Wow, that's weird. It like showed the other car on my little like car thing. And it shows that I'm like kind of in the lane. I wonder if it's gonna see this jogger coming up. Oh, it does, it does. There's a little jogger person on the screen. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. All right, getting used to the blinkers. It's not too bad. One cool thing is we don't really have to wait for the car to warm up like a normal gas car. Like normally I'm all driving slow for the first, you know, part of the journey because well, gotta let them warm up and heat the oil up, but this thing we just kind of go. Yeah, that steering wheel is a, uh, not a fan. Acceleration plaid. Oh, there's drag strip mode. Track mode. How do I turn on track mode? Steering's in sport. That's in plaid. Why can't I go into track mode? In my opinion, this is the ultimate daily driving car. It's fast as hell. It's comfortable. It's quiet. It doesn't use gas. You can fit all the kiddos or people or whatever. Got a ton of trunk space. Oh yeah, you even have a frunk. We didn't even look at the frunk. It's so stupid practical. But I mean, it's 130 plus thousand dollars. That is no joke. That is a lot of money to have it be a, a daily driver. It looks kind of boring, but it's also not really meant to be anything but boring. Why is that guy honking at me? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so like the, the regenerative braking is, oh, it's my neighbor. Yeah, <laughs> you're on camera now. Awesome. Want a drag race? Did you buy that? No, I'll race you. Three, oh. two, one. <laughs> we're gonna go on my little route. We've got the bumpy section coming up. So we're gonna see how this thing handles a bumpy road, which I would hope is gonna be comfortable. Bumpy road, here comes my bumpy road test. And, oh, I mean, it's doing okay. We do have it in sport mode for the, uh, let's try suspension settings. Uh, it's on sport. So, I mean, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, we don't have it in comfort. We can try comfort real quick. Oh, okay. That made a huge difference. I mean, it's still a little bit bouncy, but this road is rough. This road is really rough. Wow, comfort mode really is much better. All right, we're going back to sport because it's time to play in a second here. Uh, no cars, okay, time to play. Let's see how the performance is in the performance. <laughs> oh, you could get into trouble. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my God. It's really heavy car. Like coming into the corners, it is heavy. You can feel the body just fighting that weight. I feel like you're gonna have a hell of a time with the brakes on this thing. Whoa, I mean, just so much acceleration, just stupid amounts of acceleration. The handling's okay. It's not like blowing me away, but it's a really big car, really big, and you feel it. You feel how heavy it is. I mean, but I'm, I'm able to whip around these corners pretty decently and it's holding pretty good. Wow. I mean, that's like half throttle on the acceleration. This is stupid fast. You know what scares me? Like people who have never driven a performance car are gonna go out and buy these because it's a Tesla. That is scary. And floored. Oh, that melts your brain. <laughs> I lost my stomach like a roller coaster. Holy shit. That acceleration is just ridiculous. Oh my God, it's almost making me a little bit queasy. <laughs> if you're driving this with passengers, you need to give them a fair warning before you stab the pedal because they're gonna break their necks. Look, you're not gonna like 
take it to the road course and win any races, but you could definitely have some fun on the street. So we'll keep it entertaining driving to and from work, that's for sure. You will never have a problem passing. <laughs> You're like, oh, you need to pass? Yes. Whoa. God, it's so, fa like, it's almost unusable how fast it is. The brakes are just not going to keep up. The brakes and handling just can't compete with that. Okay, we caught up the traffic. I need a breather. Legit, that is intense. That is intense how fast it is. We're obviously playing pretty hard and it's gonna burn off a lot of juice doing this, but supposedly this thing can get 400 miles on a tank, obviously not doing what we're doing today. I really wish I could get the track mode to turn on. I don't know what's going on there. Like there's all sorts of weird stuff. It does have drag strip mode, which we'll play with that in a second. And now we'll do a full on launch because why not? I mean, how often am I going to drive one of these things? 130 plus thousand dollars. That's pretty steep. That's a that's a big chunk of change. But I mean, I guess to have the world's fastest production car, that's not terrible. So I came to a full stop without using any brake pedal there because the regenerative braking. Freaking weird. I'm just getting used to this stuff. Okay. Stop sign. Again, yeah, the steering wheel at slow speed is just stupid. Okay, here we go. That was 60. <laughs> it's kind of a one trick pony, just cause that's, that's its trick, right? Go stupid, stupid fast in a straight line, but it actually handles reasonable. I mean, compared to the Model S that we had in our Turo, the handling is just light years more. It's still not great. It's still not gonna like compete with a real sports car, a Porsche, Ferrari, McLaren, Lamborghini, any of that stuff, no. It's just not on the same par, but it's good. It's really good. And for a daily driver to be this comfortable, that's excellent. I'm kind of curious how it would hold up actually at the track. That would be fun. I would get the world's worst battery life on these cars because I just would be on it all the time. Ah, oh, I pushed drag strip mode and it says it's gonna take 20 minutes for peak performance. I've been, doing quite a few of these acceleration runs now and I'm legit starting to feel a little bit queasy like it's it's that intense it is just outrageously intense acceleration so to give you an idea this thing was at 89% when I started driving it and we haven't driven it more than 15 miles and I've been playing hard so it's already down to 82% the computers actually show the little bike lane markers on the ground when you drive by on the screen. That's, that's really impressive technology. This is really cool for a techie person. I was gonna go for the ride with Adam when he drives this thing, but I'm afraid I'm gonna puke if I do. I think what we're gonna have to do is uh, let Adam drive it, and once drag strip mode is fully operational, we're gonna have to do some serious launch control stuff. Okay, so uh, Adam's driving the Tesla right now. So I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of my thoughts before he gets back. Basically, my opinion is it's the ultimate daily driver. It really is. Super comfortable, quiet, pleasant, nice features, and the maintenance is gonna be reasonable. The, you know, quality is a concern. The price is kind of outrageous. <sighs> like, I literally did not wanna go in the car with Adam because I was getting a little bit queasy from launching so many times because you lose your stomach. It just, it's so intense. It melts your brain. Also, real quick, while we're sitting here waiting, I got a package from one of my viewers. So, this is from Nico Carbon Works. Let's see what we got. Dude, check that out. It is a keychain, a normal guy keychain. That is awesome, carbon fiber. That's really cool, I love it. What do you think? Do you think I should sell these? Would you guys wanna buy something like that? It says normal guy. I kinda love it. I'm, I'm a fan. Thank you so much, Nico. This is amazing. This is awesome. I'm curious if it's like just kinda laser cut. It looks like it's laser cut. That's really cool. All right, YouTube. It's time to drive the uh, fastest production car ever made. So bizarre. So this is the very first Tesla I've ever driven in my life. I've never even ridden in a Tesla, and it's the granddaddy of them all. I'm not a fan of this yoke. I feel like I'm flying a, 
a Boeing airplane or something with it, like rotate. I wonder if you can option one of these with the regular steering wheel or not. I'm actually a little bit nervous about driving this thing because I've heard of how fast it is. I've driven Coda at ridiculous speeds at full speed in the 911. I'm a member at a racetrack in, Aust or in San Marcos, Harris Hill Raceway. This is just orders of magnitude faster than anything I've ever driven in my life. I love my internal combustion engines as much as the next guy, but you can't deny how cool these ca these cars are from a uh, tech point of view and just like what they're capable of. Square it up. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Holy! F that was stupid. Oh! my god that is not normal to be able to do that that's insane so i'm gonna go from 55 miles an hour to 60 miles an hour because it's a speed limit and i wouldn't do anything irresponsible on a public road and i'm there oh my god Holy f that you literally feel the blood rush to the back of your head it's stupid this is idiotic this is, oh my lord. <laughs> uh, you can't help but giggle like, a, like an idiot, honestly. I have no words. I'm flabbergasted. Drag strip mode is ready. Now I just need a place that I can safely do it. All right, when it goes green, I'm going. Good lord. Whoo. <laughs> The screen had the plaid look on it from uh, Spaceballs. What the hell was that? Spaceball one. They've gone to plaid. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. That was just idiotic. I seriously recommend doing like what uh, fighter pilots do that launch off of aircraft carriers and just like, rest backwards because that's how powerful it is no wheel slip nothing that is amazing it is truly amazing i wish this suspension went a little bit quicker because it's kind of slow to do that out of all the things that this thing can do crazy it takes forever for the suspension to to go down i think i started with 80 percent battery and i'm now at 73 percent and i've done like maybe five miles so that kind of shows you <laughs> how much battery it uses to do that stuff. Oh, they have a plaid too. Look at that. <laughs> He's giving me the thumbs up. He must know what I have. Plaid v plaid right here. <laughs> we left everybody in the... <laughs> we left everybody in the dust. <laughs> okay, we just got home and we had to take our neighbor for a ride. And we're taking our other neighbor for a ride because it's just so ridiculous. I actually feel queasy, so I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna sit here, Adam will take our neighbor for a ride. It just, it's bonkers. It's just straight bonkers. Ooh. Makes humming noises. Otis, come here. Stop, break. Hey. You know, it will say cheetah mode activated or something like that. Come on, I'm preparing. Oh my God, it takes forever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Taking forever. Come on, come on, there's a car coming. Go. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you see the screen? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, it's just stupid. <laughs> Did you see the screen? Yeah. <laughs> My brain hurts. My <laughs> holy shit. That hurt my brain. That's what I was talking about. Tesla really dropped the ball on making the suspension so slow. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, it it, it is. It really is. Uh, All right, we'll just go home now. Oh, it's a cop, isn't it? Nope. 
He just had a light bar. <laughs> well, YouTube, I think it's pretty safe to say that Ab and I both agree this is the ultimate daily driver. It is just perfect for daily driving and ridiculously powerful. So it's fun, it's comfortable, it's everything you'd want, except for, I guess, the price tag. But again, if you didn't want to have it be the crazy plaid model, you could always get one of the lower models, but I mean, this is just amazing. I'm glad we got to scare some people, scare some neighbors, and have some fun. So Meg is gonna be reviewing this, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that. So please like, share, and subscribe. And of course, go visit normalguyssupercar.com where you can buy parts and services for your car, although probably not much for a Tesla. Maybe some wheels. I guess we could get you wheels. Anyway, you guys are amazing. We're gonna be doing a lot more cool car stuff, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.